In the second developer blog, RSE Marks has released more gameplay footage of Wigs and Tories. In this blog, we can see a line of bots reloading and firing with updated animations. We can see new smoke effects that illuminate when the musket is discharged. Along with the new smoke effects, their new animation skeleton is being demonstrated by the reloading and firing bots, which show that it is more fluid than the last. We can also see new animations for reloading, aiming, and firing. Furthermore, with this animation, we can see the ramrod in action that was missing in the first video. Also in the blog, we can see a zoom in and zoom out for the third person camera, which will be useful for melee fights and if you want to get screenshots of your regiment. There's also a head rotation that follows your camera when you look around, which is similar to War of Rights. This camera does not mess up your aiming and will make your character more lifelike. We can also see the first version of the melee system for Wigs and Tories. Since our new skeleton has no melee animations, we can only see placeholders that will be worked on and improved in the future. At the end of the video, Mark shows us their chat box, unit selection screen, and a brand new British unit at the end of the video. By looking at the new farm that was being shown, I can tell that this game will be aesthetically pleasing once it is fully released. This short video is a spoiler for devblog number 11, which will show multiplayer gameplay that I'll cover once that comes out. That is it for the video. If you'd like to see more Wigs and Tories, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.